processing that was like three bucks so I was able to get this stuff shipped right away totally totally recommend new egg for everybody um, but here's the old where's that old heat sink at? where is it where is it I went out to lunch because I was like I'm not ready for this here it is this is the old heat sink at the uh, corner master v6 or no, v8 it actually looks like a little v8 engine you know or some form of engine I got this to replace it this is the corner master uh, You're not giving that to h20 Bad key, and uh, as you can see, it fits the Intel 1366, which is what I'm running. Uh, I have an i7, so but here's I know the the cords are a little bit wacky right now, but I'm getting right on that. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna go right here where these two fans are, and uh, I also got a bunch of other fun things. We got some uh, we got some Corsair. 4 gigs of, uh, of RAM here, it's uh, actually 2 gig sticks, but we're going to be filling up the rest of the RAM slots, I was only using 2, it's the same speed as what I was using before, 1600 megahertz, 2 gigabyte sticks, now we're going to have, we're going to have 12 gigs of RAM in this bad boy, so it's very, very exciting time right now, got a new video card too, the GTS 250 has served me well, so I will not be doing a giveaway with that. That's going to go into Dell XPS, which doesn't have a video card right now. So, uh, thermal paste for the new heat sink or the new core master. Um, this is my new bad boy. I was going to get the uh, For the Win Plus Edition, but I've heard some bad reviews on them. I guess they, uh, they're they having some overheating issues with those. They're running at 90 Celsius, which is not normal, nor is that good at all. That could just blow your motherboard right up. I mean, that's... Uh, I just... I, I Last thing I need to do now is blow a transistor on this bad boy, so... Um, I went ahead and replaced the motherboard once, but that was because of other reasons. Um, the GTX 560 Ti Superclocked Edition runs at 900 MHz. 31 MHz less than the For the Win Plus Edition of the same run. Way too hot, so do not get those at all um, until they tweak them or fix them up. A friend of mine actually RMA'd his twice, and it basically was still overheating both of the new ones that they sent straight from the factory. So, anyways, we're going to put this big bad boy in there along with a, uh, a blue LED um, fan cooling card. Got some fans for the side here. Now that I'll be able to fit them in there, they're also blue and LEDs. And we got some blue LED uh, cathode lights. Which I don't even know if those will fit in there. I gotta find a way to get those in there. Uh, I should have ordered. Well, one of these RAM sticks I just looked, and as you can see, it's a little cracked open now. I don't know how that happened or even why, but what we can do, we can get some electrical tape, and we can we can get some black electrical tape and fix that right up. Just a real tiny piece, maybe a quarter inch long. Would, would hold that together for years. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. I've always been a real electrical nerd. So I won a science contest in like 6th grade for doing like a Jacob's Ladder sort of thing. It's irrelevant, but either way. That's 20 minutes fast. It is 6.50. It should not have taken me 3 hours Don't to put this... Picture. I won't. To put this in here. I am angry. That is the cooler 620. It took forever. Because two holes did not line up. Right. So we've kind of, we more or less, eh, I don't want to talk about the specifics, but we got her done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the video card in there now. Hello guys, Awesome Card here. But not as Burton Finch in real life. There's my awesome background. Um, so we're just... Uh, I've been running the Beast now. I call it the Beast Mark 1.5 or version 1.5 because it's not quite 2.0 yet until I get a new case and all that fun stuff. But um, there it is. That's with the cathode lights, the water cooling, the crappy cable management that I didn't do. But uh, I can't get anyone to help me fix it. But I'll fix it myself eventually. The new LED side, maxed out RAM, uh, 1600 megahertz speed RAM. Uh, about 12 gigs worth the 560 Ti Fermi 
So he's the Super Clock Edition at uh, running at 900 megahertz. The H20620 from Antec, cooler unit for water cooling. Got the radiator on with the extra fans, and uh, there's the fan that came with the Antec 1200, and then there's the uh, radiator. Then there's a fan on top of that, sucking it, you know, to blow it through the radiator. So a lot of a lot of good stuff going on here. Um, got my G track with the spider mount when I start doing live casts, which um, I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So, oh, another part of the upgrades was the uh, the Rosewill, now known as Renesis, uh, USB 3.0 PCI Express card. In, and there, you can't quite see it for the cathode lights, but let me turn those off. They are awfully bright. Uh, da -da. There we go. You should see it right on top of the video card in there. Uh, it actually doesn't work with the X58 Sabertooth motherboard. For some reason, the drivers just are really not good with that particular motherboard. Or this particular motherboard. I mean, that's the only complaint I have is that I don't have 3.0 on my desktop. But I do have my laptop, so I'm still waiting on footage to transfer. I really wish I could have got that figured out, but because it would have made all this uh, stuff a lot easier to transfer footage. But oh well, I'll just have to be a lot more consistent. Um, I'm in the midst of finishing up Mass Effect 2 also. Uh... Also got a little thing underneath the video card here. Uh, it's actually a blue LED video card cooler. I can adjust with adjustable speeds. Yeah. I haven't had to use it just yet. It doesn't go that much higher than, you know, 50 Celsius under stress. Okay, so... Uh, let's change the angle. Let's, yeah, let's... Okay, so, um... We have decided to change up the angle a little bit. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, you should have over my window for the winter. It acts as plastic. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut that up, probably. Um, alright, so, basically what's going on, I'm approaching 100 subscribers, and I want to say thanks to everybody who's, um, more or less made this successful. I've been in contact with some mental men with a network or two, and I discovered that they take your past channels into account when they consider you for, um, partnership slash directorship whatever you want to call it and uh, I have sent letters which have not gotten a response yet but like I said these things don't happen overnight I'm not really expecting much but if something happens that would be great um it's, it's Friday night we got three or four days until Mass Effect 3 okay you know what that means it means I gotta get to playing this game because Mass Effect 2, I'm like halfway through it, and I was like, ah, and I don't want everybody to die, you know, so I gotta do their side quests too. But I'm running out of memory because I'm covering more than one or two things, but, um, some stuff has happened, um, regarding work and such. They're, they called and interviewed me for a position, and more or less, it, it could change things up a little bit. So, but that same day, my basement flooded, so there's, there's your sign, knock on wood. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing everything I can to pretty much be, uh, you know, to, to to get you guys videos. I've been slow this week because basement flooded, stuff going on at work, and of course, you know, when you're covering more than one thing, you know, I got the Seth Inquisitor footage I'm editing, I got the uh, Mass Effect 2 footage I'm editing, it's like, oh my goodness, it's taking up so much memory, and I'm actually on the verge of getting a hard drive. I, I should have ordered an extra hard drive on top of the other stuff, but, um, er, er, a few minutes ago I brought up, uh, doing live casts and, and live streaming and all that stuff. I do want to do that, yes, but I want to save that for four or five hundred subscribers, probably. So we'll start doing that. I, I don't know what, like I said, I don't know what network I'll go with. Um, like I said, I, I sit in on, on Swifter's stuff a couple times. Uh, not Swifty, but Swifter. He's, uh, he just Swifter says on the Game On Network, and, I really been thinking about you know jumping into that, but like I said, it these things take time, and I'm not even at 100 subscribers yet, so I'm not too worried about that. But I just want to let you guys know that um, you know things are going great. I, I got some great stuff you know in the pipeline I'm working on right now, and uh, we sh I'm still gonna be. I, I want to say this to you guys now. I'm gonna be the first person, one of the first people, 
to, to get you guys Mass Effect 3 footage because I am right by GameStop. I got the time off uh, that I needed, and I'm going to be covering that game head to toe as much as possible, right to the end. And I actually I would like to be one of the first ones to throw um, the the N7 edition soundtrack in there and, and put it on my channel, but. I need subscribers. I need you guys to start commenting and liking and all that fun stuff. But uh, we're approaching the 100 subscriber milestone. We're like 14 away right now. Um, I'm gaining daily, like I said. Uh, but yeah, I went to a couple communities and introduced myself as a, uh, you know, as, as the guy from BlizzCon who did the Night Elf Mail because I met a bunch of people doing that, and people have not forgotten about that yet. But you know, just so I can throw it out there, like, yeah, that's who I was, who I am, yada yada. You know, I like to dance. Whoop de doo. Um, my cat's on my bed. Hi, Roo. Love this cat. Anyways, um, oh goodness. But I'm just saying, like I said, everything's upgraded. We're ready to go. We're gonna finish up some Mass Effect 2, hopefully this weekend, and get all the footage edited and thrown together just in time, hopefully for Mass Effect uh, 3, which. I'm going to be at the midnight release for as well. Um, man, there's just there's so much good stuff going on. People, uh, I, I was featured on Athenes Together to the Top on the Athene Army page. So that that was pretty sweet. Uh, I'm on the Athene Live forums as well as the Yogscast forums now. And the Game On Network. And just things going good, I guess. Uh phew. Man, it's like I had a lot more to say, but I guess not. They are considering me for position, though, and that could change some things. Which brings me to my next point. To prove how dedicated I am, there, there's something I wanted to bring up. It's about the uh, the scheduled uploader for YouTube partners and for uh, people who are going through a network who have a partnership through YouTube or through, through the networks so they have access to the partner peripherals and perks and all that stuff. Uh, scheduled uploader. That is not fair. It is hard enough competing, especially on the East Coast, during prime time, when I gotta work till, you know, between 5 and 8, all that happy fun stuff. And I'm usually working till 8, 9 o'clock at night, my time. Which is prime time for, you know, uh, YouTube and such, over on the West Coast. But, you know, I think it's an unfair advantage, but you know what? Guys like me, we adapt. We adapt. We, we, we overcome. See what I'm saying? What I'm gonna, what I did, I, I went on break. This is how close I lived to my house from my job. I went on break. I came home. I grabbed some pizza. I had, I spent six minutes at home. Went back down. Still had seven or eight minutes, you know, to spare, to spare. That's after walking to my car on the other side of the par parking lot. Yada yada. So, basically, it's safe to say that if I have to. During prime time, you know, 5, 6 o'clock my time, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clock out for break, come home, and start uploading videos. How do you like that? How do you like me now? It is not fair. You, these guys already got partnerships, and you're going to give them access to stuff like that? I mean, at least, you know, you want to make money. You want to make money, Google. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. You make stuff like that a premium thing. $10, $15 a month. You know how many people would, would just scarf that right up and... and and, and, and do that? I would. I would, yeah. Call me a, uh, a dumb person. I, I, I'm, I'm trying not to cuss, but it does frustrate me, and I don't think it's fair at all. But, um, you know, that's that's life. But you know what? Like I said, I adapt, I overcome, and uh, I'll improvise. I'll clock off a break, come home, upload videos, be done with it like that. That's what's up. Start uploading them, get out of here. Oh, another thing, too. Top tier upload rates, baby. That's right. That's right. Um, I'm with Time Warner, so the wideband for Time Warner is like 100 bucks a month. But Roadrunner Extreme, Extreme is the second tier. Thing is, there's no difference between the upload rates. You still get a 5 megabyte per second upload rate. The only difference is the download rate. And I have heard rumors that they give you a flash drive and all that fun stuff with the... Uh, you know, the where you can, like, be on the internet no matter where you're at. So it's, like, satellite or something like that. Basically connect anywhere and have that kind of speed and upload and all that stuff. Thing is, though, if I'm driving down the road, I'm on my laptop. Or if we're rolling and, and like, I'm uploading footage from, like, a midnight release or something. What if I enter another, like, region or, or another uh, area or, or part of the county or zip code or whatever you want to call it? 
and it has to reconnect. Oh no, my upload's interrupted. So wideband to me was completely useless. So I just went with the extreme, which was only 10, 15 more dollars a month, which, you know, now it's like I'm pumping videos. I pumped out the uh, Mass Effect 1 videos. The day that I beat Mass Effect 1, I hurried up and added all the footage together and went right through it and everything and just stayed with it. Within two or three days, I had all the footage up. I mean, not up, but I mean, within like a day, I had it done and edited and I just uploaded one or two at a time. And the one day I uploaded like four or five, you know, Mass Effect 1 videos. So within three days, the whole series was done. Done. That's what's up. So one of my subscribers keeps commenting. He's like, I know what you're going to do. You're going to, you know, you're going to be do the Ashley Williams romance and yada yada. And, and, and it, it was kind of sad because he, he, he was actually right. I actually spared the council and all that fun stuff. So... You know, uh, big shout out to that guy. Uh, I, oh God. <sighs> Captain Igris, I think. I hope. No. God, I gotta check that now. Ah. Oh! Okay, it is Captain Igris. So, <laughs> um, so big shout out to him. Also, a uh, shout out to World's Worst Gamer. He he hit me up, and, and uh, I think he's sponsored by Razor. He's got like four or five hundred subscribers. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, skates and uh, you know, dressed up like Darth Vader and stuff for his Swator series. It's like, ah, oh, it's awesome. But, uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff going on. Uh, I was in Athene's video for Bring Back the Con at, like, 2 minutes, 38 seconds. Boom, you see me, like, kicking it with them. But, like, then I was, like, kind of getting fat from, like, depression and stuff. And it's like, Ugh, I got the turkey neck thing. Like, Ew. So, anyways, uh, another thing people were wondering. You're wanting to know uh, how the hub video works in, in my videos or, or in my series. I don't do the playlist thing going down YouTube and everything here here let me show you guys let me show you guys we're gonna do this right now all right so here we are we're on the hub page for uh, awesome incarnate the background as you can see is like you know you got my, uh, Athene and me kicking it you got uh, the new videos daily uh, which you know you got the shepherd uh, you got the awesome smiling in the lake with the moon in the, or as part of the moon the big sparkling moon but I, I merged the Sith thing in there that shows that I'm playing Mass Effect I'm playing Spator I'm doing it like that um, and of course me at BlizzCon dancing. Uh, alright, so people are wondering, how do I do, th how do you get to my playlist? Okay, you want to go to videos? That's fine. That is just fine. You want to go to videos and then go to playlists? That's awesome. You, you can do that. You can do that. But they're not really in order. My hub is whatever game I'm playing for whatever, or for that season or for that, for that time being. Uh, I don't want to say season because this isn't really a show yet. Um, here you want to click the annotations and it'll take you right to it like you got your Mass Effect 1 playlist 2, 3 in the middle I'll have compilation videos or whatever from the series that I'm playing the subscribe text will be the text from that series that I'm playing and the backgrounds and the shifting backgrounds will be images corresponding to not only Awesome Face but to uh, the game that series that I'm playing uh, you got your Swator here. I'm, I'm still playing that. You got your Swator as the Sith Inquisitor. You want to click that for the playlist. Bam. See what I mean? Just bam. Bring it right up. You can do it like that. But, uh, Nightmare House 2, I finished that up. It was terrifying. Uh, please check that out. It could use some more views, guys. It's awesome. But basically, you click the annotations to bring it to playlists. And uh, that's how we do it. So that's that's how you uh, navigate my my little channel page thing here. I like the new channel setup because I was able to adapt to it in this manner with a with a hub video, an interactive hub video, and you know I, I had to do that. I mean the old the, the old playlist stuff or, or the old channel setup I like that, but you know things got to change and you know what's new is new and what's old is new I guess I don't know. <laughs> But, yeah, that's, uh, people were like, hey, uh, you know, you call yourself Awesome Incarnate. Who do you think you are? You're not awesome. There's nothing awesome about you. You're some dork who, who, you know, sits from green screen playing video games. Well, that might be true, but I should have called myself Awesome Manifest because, or Manifesto, because stuff around me just happens that's awesome. Like I said, it's not about my arrogance or my ego or my attitude, it's just things happen like I dropped off that one cliff in Spator in the Consular series and boom one like less than a percent of HP and I'm like yeah you know that's what's up 
So just, just you know, I'm not arrogant. I don't have an ego. You know, I'm nobody. I could have a million subscribers. I, I'm still a guy that works, you know, retail produce, basically. So, you know, just another nobody, pretty much. But if you could, please like, comment, subscribe, all that happy fun stuff. And yes, I do use additional tags. So what? So what? I need to throw myself out there. Also, Companion Compendium. Right now, it's just going to focus on, like, the romances for the games and their series and all that stuff. And no, I'm not some dude paid by Bioware, um, just because I'm playing Bioware's latest and greatest, basically. Uh, no, no, that's not... No. I do know people who work at that studio, though, and I also know people who work, like, in the game industry. Um, I'll go more into detail about that at some other video, but... I gotta shoot another video here in a second, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this video, vlog short, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, like, comment, subscribe. At some point, either at 100 subs, maybe even more, maybe maybe even at 100 subs, maybe, I don't know yet. I don't know. It's, it's still in the works, but like I said, I am gonna be doing giveaways. I like to do giveaways, and no, it's not because I have sponsors or because I'm bought out. This stuff I buy with my money that I work for, because like I said, I have a real job still. Now, I still treat this, this, you know, thing like a hobby slash second job, but it is the secondary job, you know, the, the other stuff I'm doing. Whereas, my real job, you know, I still gotta treat that like my real job, so. But at some point, I, I hope to switch that up, so. Alright, so we're gonna go now, and, uh, y'all have a nice day. Again, subscribe.